let us see some formulas and each and every formula you have to remember d by dx of e power x is equal to e power x d by dx of a power x a power x means some 2 power x or 3 power x or 5 power x a is constant some number a power x log a base e d by dx of sin x is cos x so just now i have proved it and d by dx of cos x is equal to minus sin x d by dx of tan x is equal to secant square x d by dx of cosecant x is equal to minus cosecant x cot x d by dx of secant x is equal to secant x tan x d by dx of cot x is equal to minus cosecant square x d by dx of sin inverse x is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square d by dx of cos inverse x is equal to minus 1 by under root 1 minus x square d by dx of tan inverse x is equal to 1 by 1 plus x square d by dx of cot inverse x is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x square d by dx of sin inverse x is equal to 1 by mod x square root of x square minus 1 d by dx of cosecant inverse x is equal to minus 1 by mod x square root of x square minus 1 and d by dx of constant is equal to 0 constant won't change with x that's why change will be 0 and already we have seen d by dx of d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 x power n, n into x power n minus 1 it is very 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 important one this is very important one and uh, let us see some one problem d by dx of x power 6 so wherever n is present you substitute 6 6 into x power 6 minus 1 that is 6 x power 5 d by dx of x power some 8 so 8 x power 7 that's all simple so d by dx of root x root x means d by dx of x to the power of 1 by 2 so n is equal to 1 by 2 what do you do 1 by 2 into x power n minus 1 1 by 2 minus 1 so what do you get 1 by 2 x power minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 root x so d by dx of this also d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x and one more thing d by dx of 1 by x power n so we can write it as d by dx of x power minus n so instead of plus n we are having minus n no problem so wherever n is present here we have we will write minus n that's all so minus n into x power minus n minus 1 so you take this term to denominator minus n by x power n plus 1 that's all so d by dx of 1 by x power n is minus n by x power n plus 1